Check one, test two, testing check. Testing check one, two. Are we live? Let's see if we're live. Public. Okay, very good. Let me reload my phone. There we go. Who's going to let me live with them? Wife threw me out. <clears throat> Guys, send me money. I need to stay in a hotel tonight. My wife threw me out. She threw me right out the damn door. <clears throat> oh, wait. Let's see, is this working? Check test. Testing check. Okay, that should be working. <clears throat> Best part of chicken. Mm hmm. Okay. <clears throat> See if this is working. My wife has outdone us up to date, y'all. And the going on YouTube because it's going to one more again. Y'all. My, my wife done outdone us up to date, y'all. Let me show you what we're working with. What is that? Baby, baby, poke ribs. Okay, so the video, I need to move oh, the video. Oh, man. Mm. More like over here. Big old butter beans. That's a, oh, what is it? Oh, garlic butter croissants. Croissants. I'm gonna eat good croissants. today. Oh, I'm gonna eat, I'm gonna eat well, good or. <laughs> Plus, I got some more ribs here in the. I still don't the, know why he laughs pot, like that. Doesn't really make sense. To that me. we didn't. I don't know what's so funny about it. It's very odd. It's very strange. It's very, very strange. God, I'm like an old woman trying to get this right. There we go. My wife is out doing her stuff today, was, was, She didn't do it, no. She did them in there. And she already threw me a slab on there. Mm -hmm. that, that, that ain't going to be enough. You, yeah, get Best part of chicken. Mm-hmm. Best part of the chicken. Best part of chicken. Okay, let me tweet this out. Hell yeah, people like these, I guess. They're joining. I'm glad you guys listen to these. If if you didn't, I would just stop doing them, but these are fun for me. I'm gay, I'm a gay guy. I'm a gay guy, I'm a gay man. I'm a gay guy. I'm a gay man. I'm a gay man. I'm a gay man. Yo, what up? I'm a big gay guy. I'm a big gay guy. Ooh. Ooh, 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 I'm a 
big gay guy. I'm a big gay guy. You fucking come out, I'm gonna shoot you. Don't come out. Do not come out. It's a fucking car, don't lose your life, dumbass. Do, do not lose your life over a fucking car. Mm hmm. Do not lose your life over a fucking car. Damn, that's crazy. Damn, do doorbell news is crazy. <laughs> Man, he's always going after. Come on, where's the good content, Kimia? Let me see what we're working with. I got to say, I think Ant looks better now than he did then. I don't know what you guys think, but he looks much better now. The man looks good. Everybody leave him alone. And, oh, I was about to say, I was like, where's all the footage? But um, I've only scrolled back an hour. How does he know which way is Mecca, by the way? He doesn't fucking know. You know what? It's This is much more annoying than them just doing 9-11. Just do 9-11. As long as I can get up to take a shit and a piss, stretch my legs, get a ginger ale, I don't give a shit. But uh, cut out the Alu Akbar in the eye, I'll do that in the cockpit. She, uh, By the way, everybody sent me this video. She doesn't even really sound like she says the N-word. <laughs> oh man this dude this is one of the funniest things yeah and appreciated that one no surprise there ant is a never-ending treasure trove of content My father commented with the 499, where the hell Jace and the other boy at? Uh, I'm doing the streams now, boys. Uh, let's see here. Rube with the five says, random question. Ben, since Devin isn't on, do you know if Mark is ever going to be back on Hate Watch one day? Thanks. Wish I could have been there, brother. Very good. I'm not sure if Mark's going to be on again. Uh, Mark's doing his own thing, but uh, I mean, we're all still friends. It's just, I guess the problem is, is now Devin has, he's employed Connor on the show, John, uh, Joey, John. That's four people. I don't even think he has a way to do five mics. So, I don't know how they'll do guest episodes in the future, honestly. Come on, Ant. Where's the good, good shit? He's. It's never when I'm looking for his stuff does he post the good stuff. Oh, here we go. Nice to see the young people getting involved and carrying on the traditions of their elders. Very good, Anthony. Anthony loves to post like third world war. He, it's third world star. That should actually someone needs to start that website. Third world star. It's even better than world star. It takes it up a level. <laughs> this is this kick ass. Oh! He slapped his fucking teacher. Hell yes, bitch. He slapped his 
<laughs> Does he slap I don't want it. it. <laughs> I don't want it. Oh, man. And do I look like I care? Wait, is that a guy or a girl? That's a girl, right? Come on, Grammy. Bitch ass. Ain't nobody even coming. You just gotta slap. You just go back. Don't stop fast. Oh, that rules. Oh, that's so awesome. Oh, don't arrest him. Just put him in detention. Why is everybody so soft? Mm. Oh, that's good. That's good shit. Hell yes, that is so fucking cool. <laughs> and they're fifteen. Oh, that kicks ass. That can't be real. I want it to be real, though. I hope that's my kid one day. Oh, this rolled. <laughs> I watched this like 40 times. <laughs> this kid is at feet. Swerve at those motherfuckers. Swerve at them. I hate, I hate seeing people do that shit. It's free. Look, I'm not, I don't hate them doing it, but you're free game at that point. If you're going to dress up like a dove, I'm going to pack some bird shot. You know what I mean? Oh, the teacher was trans. That's hilarious. It was a trans teacher. That's great. Did I tweet out this link, by the way? I think I did. Oh, hell yeah, I did. Okay, perfect. Um... Can you guys hear the... By the way, when I play stuff, can you guys hear it? Is give, it give fucked it, up? Give, yeah, okay, give it, a little, give it a little bit more. <laughs> Not easy to play. Yeah, I could. Burp. Get Man, I'm big country. Mm-hmm. Big butter chicken. That's good. They cook their dogs to save money. Hey, y'all. Goddamn. Ribeye steak. And we got a hot grill. There we go. I'm on. We're gonna Here we go. See, we're right, working we're gonna away. Take them ribeye mm -hmm. steaks that's covered in the Montreal steak seasoning, mm -hmm. which is good product. I'm not sponsored by, but I wouldn't mind being. And I'm gonna put them, them steaks right there in that center of that grill right there now. Thomas Lasanke with the five says, "Who's your favorite president from the pre World War One era?" Uh, them little charcoal brick, brickette, what do you want to call them? And uh, we'll get back to these things here in a minute. Cut them up, get a little, little heat on that thing, and we'll be back on now. All right, y'all. Got them things on fine looking right now, y'all. Wee, them things looking good. Let me see. I wish I could smell what I smell right now. Lord of mercy, that thing Damn, so tapped was 332. I think they're about done. So, um, I'm going to shut the... So, I would say... So, this isn't... This is in no particular order at all. No particular order at all. My favorite presidents uh, in order would go William Howard Taft. Uh, then I'd have to say... Uh, yeah, I'd have to say uh, Gro uh, Grover Cleveland. Then uh, Donald Trump is number three. Uh, no, nah, I didn't like Teddy Roosevelt. He's too liberal. Then Zachary Taylor's number four. Uh, then Bill Clinton at number five. Damn, Bill was 223. He hit it pretty well. 
Trump might be bigger than 237. I don't know. He's on those impact now. He looks good. Uh, when was Taft president? Taft president. Yeah, pre-World War One. So, yeah, I, I'm going with the fat guy, obviously. Fat. Ah, uh, fuck. I goddamn, I need to get a mic arm. See how fat this cocksucker was. Damn, girl, you live like this? I mean, he looks good. Looks good to me. Yeah, that's just balling. That's just living right, right there. God damn, he had fat swag. What great fat swag Taft had. Oh, even better. Oh, that's that's great right there. Look at that. And he was just doing that with like Cornish game hens and cans of hominy. What a beautiful thing that is. Well, clearly Taft takes the cake. That's totally Photoshop. Trump's not that fat. That's crazy. That's fake news right there. Trump is not that fat. That's fake news. That's fake news. Trump is way skinnier than that. He's way hotter. I don't even want to have sex with him in that picture. No way that's not him. That's fake news. Lay it down. I give him about two more minutes. And then I'm, I'm about to go grab a uh, fuck to put him on. All right, yo. Uh, someone says, uh, Dev Man with the Five says, Ben, can't wait to see you folks at the NYC show. Hopefully I'm not the only brown guy at the show. You won't be. We've had mixed race people at every show. We've had black, Chinese, Japanese, all kinds of people, Pacific Islanders, tribal people, aboriginal people. We've had everybody. Children. We've even had children, black children, all types of people. You're going to fit right in, my friend. I am going to warn you, though, it is majority white and they are violently racist. You won't feel welcome. DC with the 499 says, Mr. Avery, could you start a GoFundMe for your mukbang? Set it for 500. I was going to start one for you. Then I realized <laughs> how much work it is. It's so funny to go fund a mukbang. Send me 500 on here and I'll do a mukbang. I would gladly. My wife ordered all veggies and shit this week, and I'm I've been eating healthy. I feel like I've lost maybe a pound and a half. I feel pretty damn good. I've worked out twice now. Someone took me five hundred and get my wife to leave me for good. You gonna take these steaks? Put them on this plate. Best part of chicken. Look at him playing that now. Mmm. Mmm. Look at those puppies we cooked up. Mmm. Yeah, we ran these over. Mmm. Backed over them with the for that tradition. Let that burn out. We get back with y'all. Big cut coming at you one more again. As usual, it's my lovely wife with me. Oh, um, you guys are gonna see this. He gets have... so mad here. He gets so mad. Watch this. Is that macaroni? What's going on, YouTube? Big country coming at you one more again. As always, I have my lovely wife. Not sister, wife. Lord have mercy. I don't know how many times we got to say it. Um, we have some good eating. Did some, uh, He's pissed, home. man. The trolls are getting to him, dude. He needs to take a, a lesson out of Joe Rogan's playbook and not read the comments. Don't read the yeah, comments, nah. Big Country. Yeah, I saw the ribeyes and I forgot that country don't like. I don't care, care for them. As much as I do. Oh, you're trying the rice. I don't. I didn't try the steak. Mm. I like steak. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm about to try the rice. Okay, okay, okay. 
Where? Oh, yeah. Feet on the grill. Eat it, old. pig. Stop fiddling with it. I hate when fat people act like they give a That's shit what the bite looks like. Shove it in your fucking yeah, hole. Sir. We're not sponsored. I would love to be. <laughs> I not. love this product. How many subscribers does Big Country have? 2,000. He gets 900 views. Yeah, we're not sponsored. <laughs> McCormick Spice, it's basically Heinz Ketchup. Why do they need your help, Big Country? McCormick's Grill Mates, Montreal State Season. Oh, man. I love that little aw, oh, man. He does. I'll put some of that in the right. Oh. Yep. He's so hungry. He's just just coming dust. Give me another napkin, please. I got a bread on that napkin. <laughs> Thank you. They have big pretzel rolls, I think. Is that a giant? That's like a giant pretzel you got from a baseball park. Yeah, mm, I'm gonna turn that up. That's about one of the best pretzels I've ever ate. He always says that. He's too easy of a crowd to please. Looks like shit. Looks like utter shit. Ten to fifteen minutes. That's all it takes. Looks like utter shit. Make sure your grill good and hot. Mine wasn't too good and hot. I beat yet. I bet something like that. I beat yet. I put the little top on it. And I'll, I'll have this thing full. the lady of... I really liked on the last stream where she was eating McDonald's? Ooh. This looks pretty good. Coming out of the basement is probably the hardest thing I do all day. So I usually only go up once. And then when I go back down, that's it for the day. Don't, don't care. Bathroom. Want to see you eat. Stuff where I had don't the biggest care. problem staying. Let me see you eat. There we go. Even, and it feels incredible this world that can compare to the feeling of taking <laughs> that first bite when I haven't eaten Hell in a yes. while. Because I get that first flood of happiness. I that get are, it, man. And it's the only thing that's sort of given me an escape in my life when I've needed it. And there's been a lot of times in my life where I've needed it. Hell yes. Really wanted to see him chow down, but that must be on some sort of premium feed. Who is that lady that I uh I think I've subscribed subscribed to her? I think. Cause it keeps notifying me that her videos are popping up. God damn my subscriptions. Oh, the clips guy did good with that thumbnail. That's good. Do I look that fat in the episode? Yeah, I guess I do look fat. God damn it. I'm a fat ass retard. I'm turning into a fat ass retard, everybody. Nothing to see here. Just another fat ass retard on the internet. Here we go. This is the lady. Chew and chat. Hello, my friends. Welcome Meatloaf back. is too healthy, though. See, we're working with y'all. Uh, here we go. This is what I'm talking about. Hello, my friends. Welcome back to Chew and Chat. I'm Joan, and thank you for all the subscribers. By the way, I actually think. Predictions for 2024. I don't know anything that's happening with Iran or whatever, but predictions for 2024. She's going to be the next big mukbanger. Something really comforting about her. She's this caregiver archetype. She is just a lovely, nice. You can tell she's a really sweet woman who really cares about the craft. She makes a good product. This is the. This is the Joe is hungry of ASMR. Same age bracket, same background, same generational whatever.
but you can tell she really has studied the art form and she knows what people want and she delivers. This is a a great comfort to me is watching this cow chow down. Dun, I feel like I have like a, a fat well, you know it. young you grandmother know who takes me out for free Chinese food every Friday. Covers. I love the way she breathes. It's difficult, but not so difficult that you okay. you feel bad for her. I was hungry. I got food. But it was like, hey. I asked my son, what do you want, KFC, Long John Silver? And I think she lives Chinese. with her He's illegitimate son. I'm not really sure. I love them all three. There's a 35-year-old so, in her life. That either she's paying to have sex with her or it's just her son. We have some... And she just calls him a son. I, I don't know. I don't really know what's going on with her. Her living no, situation doesn't no, seem like great. Chinese. She's probably on a school board um, somewhere, I'm but her kid doesn't even go to school there anymore. Steamed dumplings. They're delicious. I can only find these at one of my Walmarts. I got the there we sauce go. on top kind of warming it up. It was frozen. That gave us a bunch of egg rolls. Or... He deleted his um accounts on God. I love the way she talks and breathes. It's really doing it for me. He had millions of subscribers. Yeah, get a little soup dumpling, mm. burn the shit out of your mouth because you don't understand what a soup dumpling even is. And this is what I love about I her, too. To she drinks water, no soda, but bottled water only. Because God damn it, if she's going to drink water, she's going to find a way to make it the least healthy version. You could just get... I don't understand what this is about poor people. You could just get... And I don't, I'm don't. i not saying she's poor. But I will say this. She buys Barbie t-shirts at Walmart. So I think it's safe to say that she's not killing it in real estate, and she's not a trust fund baby, and she doesn't live in the Palisades. She only eats off of paper plates, and uh, she gets food poisoning from uh, by just going outside somehow. So I I don't just get a Brita. Why do why pay more for water? I drink water all day. I just drink it right from the fridge. Cheers, by the way. Lim uh, water with lemon today. I'm being healthy, boys. I'm trying to get everything out of my system. I got to be there for my daughter. I don't understand if it's mental. I can't get early wrong with the onset ass cancer and start shitting blood as my daughter's walking across the aisle. If I get cancer, I'll just blow my head off. I'm not doing treatment. I'll kill myself immediately. He was little and skinny. And um, he was a vegan, vegetarian, or something for several years. God, the way she talks and breathes so. Oh God, tiny. I wish I could. I would produce the shit out of this know. lady's life. I could take her to the next level. Oh God, imagine what I could do in the. If she would just let me, I might reach out to her. If she could just let me. Compress the audio correctly. Get a better EQ on there. I want a better mic. I want to put some panels on the wall. And then we could really start cooking. I might get a table mic too. Like a boom that's going directly at the food. And then one for her mouth. We could, oh God. Imagine the sound effect of that little sweet and sour cup lid being taken off before she dunks a nice big fucking crispy egg roll in there. Oh my God. Holy Lord of Gods. Really? Mm. Got a lot of those. Oh, oh the way she ate that bell pepper. These either. I don't know what they are. I think it's mm. bamboo shoots. They look funny. It's not like you get out of the can. I'm still watching. <clears throat> Those people come into customs in Australia. I'll I put it in that description. 
<laughs> you have no idea what you're talking about, lady. Just shut the fuck up and eat the eat the pads to you. I don't know. People are not posting too much lately. She licks fingers too. I love that. She eats without inhibition. She doesn't even know you're not supposed to lick your hands this like a baby. This is the last baby. season of Young Sheldon. Do y'all watch Young Sheldon? Exactly right, Young Sheldon. Yeah. <clears throat> Please get sentimental. Do you think they're going to kill George they're off? They're going to kill someone off in Young Sheldon. I swear. He ruins my room. Y'all probably don't care. It bothers me. He likes to mm-hmm. go in and out of his bedroom. Okay. I'm not in here. He stays in his bedroom. Man, I hope one day she's hooked up to an oxygen tank and she's still going. I didn't like last season too much. This season, I think... Okay, sorry, I got a bunch of super chats here, my bad. I think I lost a ton of people in this live stream, by the way. I'm sorry. It's getting pretty good. Second half, this is from Moist Turtleneck, our faithful and fantastic moderator who you should follow on Twitter. Says, second half of the Trent and first date Jessica and a follow-up of 10-minute mark of the Trent jersey Mike's Mystery Meet Not Part 2 where he describes his date. He's almost to 500 subscribers. The Trent and first date Jessica. Oh, yeah. Hey, baby. Is it? Oh, almost on oh, no. baby. So, yeah, we've looked at this guy before, everybody. Moist, are you telling me this guy is filming his dates? Oh, man, they look like they're just... Like they just want to pick up, take off their high heels and run. Look at these poor women. Hey, Miss Jessica. Hello. How you Hello. How I'm are you? Amazing. How are you? I'm good, baby. So we're doing a food review. God, I hate that women with oh, tits yeah. and a mouth go on dates with this guy. It pisses me off so much. We are. We're reviewing the old Sailor's Country Kitchen. What'd you have here, baby? Tell me what you had. The six ounce this filet mignon. How was it? This bitch. Jesus. Phenomenal. Was it? How'd you have it cooked? Medium rare. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What'd you have for your side here? What are you drinking here, by the way? Mashed potatoes and gravy. Okay, hold on. Okay, so you have. <laughs> let me t- tell me about the drink. <laughs> this is the. Uh, he's like, I didn't give you permission to start speaking yet. Simon says, "I'm supposed to watch the second half of this video." Jesus. Okay, here we go. What was your appetizer? Nice oh, cans on so this bitch, the by the way. I do you want to point that mushrooms. out? Nice breasts. Yeah. And, of course, it comes with bread. Nice fat tits and on our it. Vegetables with their sour cream dip, which is amazing. Yeah. The bread has this garlic butter that you put on it. This it's poor, amazing. Poor it's all one. very good. If you haven't been here, then you definitely should come here. Okay. <laughs> Just drink a couple bottles of wine. I really recommend. A couple bottles of wine and suck them off in his stupid car. So you were car. on a date with the tramp, baby, right? Suck yes. him off in his Jeep Wrangler, going? Jessica. Amazing. What do you think of the tramp? He's a very handsome, very awesome guy. Oh, is he? Huh? So far, so good. So far, so good, huh? I think we're going to kiss this out, huh? What do you think of that? <laughs> mm-hmm. oh. I think you're awesome. It's been a fantastic you. first date with you. Aww, you are so you. sweet, baby. You are so sweet. Thank you. I've been having a really nice time with you. Thank you so Great much. Great first date, Aron. Thank you. All right. As always, you know what Elvis Presley says, don't you? We'll meet you again. May God bless you. Adios. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Make us, baby. All right. Good night. Jesus fucking Christ, man. Jesus Christ. Man, it kind of feels like I just watched the rape scene in Gaspar Do's Irreversible for the first time. I just stared at the screen for nine minutes while a woman got raped brutally in an alley. That's moist. That's some of your worst, my friend.
That's bad. That's bad, man. That's really bad. You should have to personally Venmo everybody in this live stream right now for watching that. That's fucked up, man. God damn you. God damn Trent and God damn you to hell, boys, for bringing this guy. For bringing this lead and putting it on my desk. God damn you. God damn you to hell. I, I also salute you. You're one of God's most retarded soldiers. And I salute you. Uh, and then a uh, follow-up of 10-minute mark of the Trent Jersey Mike mystery meet. So not part two. Not part two, so right here. Jeez. Well, hello. So bad. God, I hate this guy. Follow up of ten minute mark. Okay, here we go. Okay, did you? It's my date with. Uh, what did you think of my video with my date with uh, Jessica? You didn't like it, did you? Okay, listen. I don't have a girlfriend, okay? And I do go out on dates quite a bit. And if you would like to go on a date with the Trent, you have to do only one thing. All you have to do is ask. That's all you have to do. I Does would love to take Does this guy get you out. pussy? Like there women no will spread their calls. legs for this guy? There was no need and to be upset. And he can have sex That's with them do. and fuck them? Why do I look like a Shrinky Dink right now? I look really small in this video. I look very small. Remember Shrinky Dinks? I'm digressing, but I have to go off on this subject. Shrinky Dinks, I'm a product of the 70s, people. Also a product of divorce. I digress. Do you remember Shrinky Dinks? How many? Shout out. Give me, come on, One come. One of my leave biggest me pet peeves is the type of dude that says I digress. It throws me into a violent rage. I'm going to keep my cool here on the stream. We got to stay on YouTube. I was prepared, though. I already hate this guy so much that it almost did nothing. I'm so I'm so wounded by this. Comment guy on right that. Now. Also, as always, I neglect this. I always put this in the middle of the video. Please like and subscribe. Please like and subscribe. Click the little bell for notification. But let's get back to the shrinky dinks. Johnny Do you remember Dirt. those guys? Do you remember? You you cut them right with the scissors. This is this is the international symbol for scissors, apparently, right? And you put them in the oven and you baked them and they shrunk. Okay, so yeah, right? that was the that that's when he talked about the the date. Good lord, the good work, moist. Good work, dude. And goddamn you, Moon Ghoul. Hey, great name with the ten dollars says, please watch cooking a diaper in two thousand twenty four. <laughs> Happily, my friend. Thank you. God, I should pay you people to watch so I could watch these. These are great. Oh, I'm excited for this one. Uh, So Papa Meat covered it too, huh? Old Meat Canyon covered it. There goes another kilowatt. There goes another kilowatt. Bob. There goes another airplane. Shut up, disposable aircraft. All these people oh, are watch to... lists, and the reason they yeah. still film on camcorders is because they're given one by the FBI. All right, so we have it kind of hooked up. It's not rolling the ball yet, but let's just do a testing. Well, I'm going to get it closer to so the light here. this guy's doing a, the power like, science projects in his, in his basement, and he's shooting it like the Blair Witch Project. And it's 2024. He's making home movies of himself Washers cooking diapers with, with wires and batteries. God bless him. It bless me a little bit. Oh, it's not going <laughs> to smoke. Like... Imagine this is how this guy dies. It couldn't happen to a better you man. Me, and you're wrapped in my memory like chains. 
Oh, it's getting warm. Okay. Oh, the Let's let it roll. Let's let it roll. Walking down the thing. <laughs> and you'll always be there in my heart. <laughs> His hands are still welded together from when the diaper got too hot and cooked him. He's just laying in the coffin. Yeah, the sides. Oh, it's hot. Uh, ooh. Egg, I, it's exactly <laughs> what you think <laughs> he would have looked I, like. I'm not really grounded. Exactly what you think he would have looked like. The wire. I might start downloading oh, some of these get, videos of posting them. I can hear way. that. These are great. It's starting to arc. Here, I'll plug up like kimchi. <laughs> but now it's really yes! good, starting to glow. Huh? It's See fucking that? cooking. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Whew. Yeah, I was getting shocked there for a second. I mean, that's are you guys seeing what I'm seeing? It's getting bias. hot in there. I mean, you know, I'm such a pussy though. For can you guys see yeah, that? It's about to... Oh, even smells like. Go through it. Oh, it smells like burnt plastic and pee. It's amazing. Of course, seconds. he pissed in it first. All right. <laughs> you gotta squish it around there. I love that this dude going, found though. someone to help him yep, film. You can hear the single cycle. Oh, it's getting hot. If you, you don't have any friends, I mean, just look at this bit. guy. You can make it happen. I promise There's you. You can find Here a guy. Five, four, you, if you walking, can find someone three, to film you, uh, make a diaper bomb. Well, it's not gonna explode. It's not poopy. Oh, and the sparks are going to go through the plastic right there. Oh, These dudes must have a great business. relationship. The, the goo they makes love to smoke like, K2 it's, it's behind the set. I mean, all of the arcs are hotter than... Oh, my God. You got This is like a new incense, you guys. It's like a candle you can get at the Yankee Candles. This is way better than a candle. <laughs> it smells like vanilla, pampers, pee, they're like, burning they're like plastic hot at the knife same time. Uh, diapers right now. I really didn't think I would see this today. When I woke up this morning, I really didn't think I'd see anything like this. Oh, ooh, God, I hot. hope it that's blows up. fucking hot. But it's, remember, it's going through the diaper. It's not even... Here, I'll open it. Ah, it's, it's really fucking hot. Oh, it smells great, too. <laughs> see? One cord here, one cord there. Oh, man. Set potential. He said yep. it smells cool. really good. Yep. I put one here. Yeah. <laughs> yep. It's <laughs> step potential. All right. Look at me for a second. Here, I'll unplug this because oh. they're gonna. Let's they're like making right ammonia. Here. So step potential. <laughs> I was using one finger for neutral, like a such a neutral wire, and then the further it goes away, the step Boring. potential. Boring. Don't care the about heat. the science so behind it. Won't remember line. it. I can't retain things like that. Won't remember it. I've a never been able to remember anything when it comes and to wires and how to trump yeah, batteries. Too shoe. retarded. Next. Want to want to see you blow the diaper up? I'm not here for a science lesson. <laughs> yeah. Yes. That's why I moved. <laughs> Because I would have been standing right in the middle of the blast zone. All right. Oh. Who wants some dinner? Jesus. Oh. All right, cut. Yep. God damn them, him to hell. God damn him to hell. Man, what a channel. I'm going to have to subscribe to this. And you're wrapped in my memory like chains. And his whole cup of beat it will always be there in my heart. Cursed Chris with the two said, what's that software you be using behind your YouTube window? It's OBS. It's free software. Get with the program, dipshit. OBS. It's the basic live stream software for pores. Jason, but it is good, actually. I mean, I don't know why I have to p would need to pay for something else. Jason Contreras with the five says, how do you feel about kombucha? Is that cheating? It's not cheating. Come on. It's not cheating. What is cheating is if you go to the bar and you get a soda water with bitters and you ask them to put a ton of bitters in. That's cheating. Some things are cheating. Some are not. Uh, Neems with the 999 says, even though it wasn't an amicable ending, 
What was the biggest comedic takeaway you learned from him, which has helped you succeed at being funny? Uh, I don't know. Pass. Top marks with the four ninety nine says to no one's surprise the Trent is from Portland, Oregon. Yeah, of course he is. Of course that guy's from Portland. Where the hell else would he be? God, that Trent guy might live rent free in my head the rest of my life. Drew Klein with the four ninety nine says, "Hi Ben, I love the Greek islands, and I want to show you my favorite one. Video is top ten Greek islands to visit. Three ten through four hundred six. Have you been to Europe? Oh yeah, I've been to Europe, buddy. Not much, but so my brother in law married a German gal. Uh, her last name is Hitler." No, but he did marry a German gal, and she's very sweet, and I love her, and I love visiting Germany. My wife speaks German. I've been to Austria, Germany, and England. Those are the three places in Europe I've been. I wish I could live over there. I really do. People are just civilized. That's what I realized pretty much as soon as I landed. People are civilized. They're not running around. You know, it. America does, unfortunately, kind of look like Anthony Cumia's Twitter feed. He's not far from the truth. You know, you can try to run away from it all you want, but they're going to get you. They're going to find you in the street, and they're going to kill you. But more so than just, the, you know, the the civilized nature over there, the thing I really like about it is I felt like I could eat all this really bad food, and I don't feel as bad, and I don't get as fat quickly. I kind of like I wouldn't move to Vienna because that was like the cultural center of the world at one point. In terms of Bach and Mozart and. Like I know Chopin was there for a period of time and. Like it is this amazing uh, place, but I would just go for the McDonald's. I would go for the McDonald's. I'm and I'm being dead fucking serious. I want to get a citizenship to Austria, which is I think last time I checked, I think it's like ten million dollars or maybe a million dollars. I forget. It's way too expensive. I obviously I can't, I can't afford it. I can't afford fucking one uh, percent of that. Uh, but I would get the citizenship just for the McDonald's. They have a better McDonald's over there, better flavors, and you can you eat over there, and it's you feel like you ate a big roast dinner. You don't feel like you just ate a, a diaper that someone cooked in their basement. So Greek islands, I want to show you my favorite one. Video is top 10 Greek islands to visit. All right. Top 10 Greek islands to visit. And you're wrapped in my memory like chain. What's up, guys? What's up, guys? It rules to be white. What's up, guys? It rules to be white. I just jump off this cliff all day into the ocean because I'm white. What's up, guys? Just another great day not being a black guy. Or relax during the day and party up during the night. Three, Why either you can six. stroll the cobblestone pass or relax on one of Mykonos' many beaches, such an incredible little island. After it, we're going to visit oh, Rhodes. Rhodes. Located in the East Aegean Sea near Turkey, Rhodes is the fourth largest island in Greece and it's full of beautiful landscapes and intriguing history. Ooh, one of my favorite beautiful. places on Rhodes is its old town. This looks during like, the 14th uh, where century, the night. Uh, uh, the dream sequences for uh, wild strawberries. Of Hospitaller occupied Rhodes and converted ass. a former Byzantine fortress into Damn, the palace of the Grand Master. It's one of the few examples of Gothic architecture. I want to fuck Greece. my big titty wife on one of those castles. One of my places on the island is the town of Lindos. Imagine if you fuck its your crowning big feature wife. is its not my big titty wife, but imagine if you fuck your big titty wife right here on this castle, looking out over the ocean. Now that would be badass. that overlooks the city. The first temple that was built here dates back to around 900 BC, and over the centuries, the Acropolis like any straight was guy, when I see by... a place like this, I go, "Man, I'd love the, I love the titty, fu I'd love to uh, get a woman with big tits and titty fucker here. That would be awesome." 
<clears throat> yeah, Romans dude, and Byzantines. You could, you could Today's fuck, dude, you could like fuck a girl there, or you could like. You could like fuck her there with your bit. You could like put your dick between your tits and fuck her there, dude. You could like eat her pussy over there, dude. You could do anal like here, looking out over that, but like you're coming in her ass right here, dude. You could and then you could pull out and like put it in her mouth and she has to like suck it off still. That Greece is awesome. Stands is one of Greece's most well preserved and popular archaeological sites. After we're gonna visit the nearby island of Simi. Now located right above Rhodes, just a few kilometers from Turkey's coast, Simi is this idyllic island and it's been nicknamed the Jewel of yeah, the... Yeah, that's pretty kick-ass, Drew. It's pretty kick-ass. Parmela with the 499 says, yeah, Will definitely goons to that first date video. Yeah, he definitely does. That son of a bitch. That is, it's it's worse than Will and Don. The Trent is, uh, I hope he blows up. I hope he gets a lot of subs so we can start attacking attacking him. I really hope he does. Parmela with the 999 says, Ben, watch Slim Fast and works three pounds if you need some help. <clears throat> Unhealthy, overweight, this year, I'm doing whatever it takes to lose weight. This road won't be easy, but it will be worth it. I put this shit disgusts me, by the way. This shit, I hate this stuff. <clears throat> um, my, you know, I have a lot of belly to lose. I mean, my belly has definitely gone down. If you just eating chemicals, of- liquid chemicals for three days, so you diarrhea out all your lipids. This is disgusting. Just eat salads and go for walks when you're this fat. What are you doing? Go for a walk. Eat a vegetable, fat ass. Two days ago, I weighed you 256 fat shit. pounds. So to jumpstart my weight loss for 2021, I wanted to get, get those five You're, you're drinking engine oil with brown food coloring. This shit is disgusting. Um, but I did. I started. By the way, fat people love to drink these in the morning. And by dinner, they're fucking they're fucking ass first in a big plate of onion rings and a club sandwich this shit just makes you hungry so hungry that you can't control yourself by dinner it's so retarded hey, i'm not gonna eat for 48 hours i'm only gonna Fucking drink slim fast, slim fast. i'm gonna re- <clears throat> there's no diet in the world where you can just drink a, something that tastes like chocolate by the way hold this down because this is my first shake and i have two more and this is actually Fat asses just have such an unhealthy relationship with food. They start doing retarded shit like this. Hey, if you've ever been on a detox, that's kind of how I felt. But I just <laughs> felt so bad. Like, I just needed to close my eyes and just, like, lay down, you know? Oh, uh, poor girl. So I did that <clears throat> poor after a two-hour nap. <laughs> I'm filming myself neglecting my child. Get her. Get her. All right. So we got some type for progress. 247.8. Yes, I'm going to read 250. Yeah. Very depressing. Very sad. <clears throat> Very sad. Wish I didn't see her kid at the end. Just, uh, you know, wandering around the house. The hydroxy cut with the slim fast and with without eating. I think just that all together just played. Wish I didn't see her three-year-old kid who uh, definitely doesn't own clothes yet. This didn't need to be part of the video, by the way. Didn't need to see your kid doing this. It's a huge bummer. You're detoxing from Kool-Aid jammer diets while you're... uh... I'm not going to lie, guys. I feel defeated. (laughs) Okay, so stop. Move, pumpkin. (laughs) <laughs> she puts him in timeout. She sets him in the toilet and flushes it. <laughs> On day two, I was feeling good go. early in the morning. She's practicing standing up and sitting down. Take off the slippers. Go for a walk. Get outside. Get fresh air. Get sun. 
stop doing this shit where you just face a wall. You th how long are you going to be able to keep this up? Where you stand in front of your apartment door in, in slippers and you just you sit up and down. And get rid of this Roku TV box, you dumbass. TVs cost $150. And if it breaks, you're not going to be able to put that back in it and get the money back. It's over. It's over for you, bitch. I'm done with you. Out of my face. I'm going back to Ant. <clears throat> this made me laugh pretty hard. Ant said you have a better chance of winning Mega Millions than you do getting her or anyone who remotely resembles her as a flight attendant. He is right. A day in the life of a flight attendant that works at Delta. It's a beautiful day in Long Beach. And I love my job. <clears throat> yep. Yep, just another lady you see out in the world, and you go, God, I would, I would love to, uh, <clears throat> I'd love to have my way with that lady. If I had my way with that lady, God only knows. Just kidding, I'm actually fucking gay. Is what's weird is that kind of looks like his ass. He, his ass is on his you front. See, during the night, the day fuck the day, bro. The night is when it's needed. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, oh. oh my goodness! Oh my god! The music is great. Only in South Central. Wow, this is in LA? In South yeah. That's crazy. They did have a I would have guessed it's in uh, Bel Air. See, during the night, the Why does his... It looks like he's a... It looks like his stomach's a pussy. They fuck the day, bro. The night is when it's needed. This is boy George Floyd. This guy is definitely gay. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, oh. oh my goodness. Oh my god. Oh. 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 Hell. Anyway. Ladies and gentlemen, the first black president. Ladies and gentlemen, Barack Obama. Man, Ant is really going for it these days, huh? Really going for it these days. Haas with the 499 says, Hey, Ben, can you please watch Old Fashioned Bolonga Salad by Simply Sarah? I feel like it's the style of good you prepare for yourself. How dare you? I've been eating veggies all week. I haven't gone out to eat. Oh, wait. Old shit. No, and I'm not turning my caps lock off. Leave me alone. I know you guys are judging me for it, but I'm too lazy to do this with my pinky. <clears throat> oh, this looks good. Welcome to another episode of Simply Sarah. Today in the oh, show, we're so going to make old-fashioned bologna salad. Okay, first off, for a show, this you're saying have a lot what we're of using. Subs. We're using yeah, the she's Tupperware. Got a lot. We're get mm -hmm. using the Master System Base right here. And then we are using the, and then you get the attachment to it, the Great Master Accessory, this big pot. That's what it'll look like. And it's in the Tupperware catalog, the winter, spring. Um, my link down to my Tupperware website where I sell it. I want to um, make fun of these people, but I have to take a huge shit right now. I really have no room to talk. I took a huge shit before this that's why i was so late doing it and i have to take a huge shit again i guess this is what i get for like eating spinach and bell peppers and stuff is they just start shitting like crazy my body's trying to get out all the evil on the table so now i'm gonna lock it i might have to place. pause this and shit i need a little bowl and once i grind my meat in here and get this filled i'm gonna pour it over in a big bowl behind the counter my big bowl will just won't can't go under this lip you need something that will go under this lip 
So, we're making old-fashioned bologna salad. We're having bologna and cheese. Now, you don't have to put your cheese in it. We like it. Um, there's different kinds of variations you can do. There's also combination salad out there, ham salad. Um, but we'll go through all of them eventually. So, I've got my bologna here, and I don't worry about the recipe. I'll put it down in the description box of the mount stuff. So, all we're going to do is put our little plunger in, hold that piece of bologna down, and then start grinding. Do you remember... Do you remember the... This, I don't think this is the right comb. Yeah, it is. There's two different graders. You remember the old-fashioned little graders that your your mamma, especially my mamma had one. Um, it went on the side of the table and you screwed it down real good. And that was she used to grind all her stuff in. But if you don't have any of this, you could do it in a food processor. Just pulse it and pulse it until you get the texture you want. She used to use it for grinding up turkey after the holidays and make turkey salad. We did chicken salad, hand salad, bologna salad, combination salad. And you can get your different flavors of bologna. There's garlic bologna out there. There's German bologna that has different kinds of little seasonings in it. You get what you want. And I've even done this with... Um, there's a new brand, Worthington, I think. It, um, they have it in my freezer food aisle of the fake bologna that's vegan and vegetarian, and it looks like real bologna. Um, so you can get that if that's what you want for your house. So we're just going to grind all this. Up. And then we're also going to grind our cheese. I'm going to grind my pickles and everything. Now, if you want to put a little bit of onion in here, just do a little because it really is strong. I mean, once you grind some in here and then you put it in the refrigerator, the flavor is going to tense with onions. So, um, a lot of people don't, in my house don't like it. So, what I do is just shake a couple shakes of onion powder in. Or just leave it out however you want to Okay, now I'm going to put my cheese in here. I've got two slices to start out to begin with. I just want to... I don't want some cheese in it, but, you know, I don't want it loaded with cheese. This is good grinder to do your own pimento cheese. I've got that down on the list to do in the future, too. Okay, I make sure I wash my hands before real good before I started. I'm gonna do a, get me another little tiny piece of cheese because I think we need it for the amount of bologna I have. And after I get my cheese, I'm going to put just my sweet pickles or the sweet the sweet gherkins or anything you want. You can use dill. Some people do. 
So I'm going to, I just got the bread and butter pickles. And I'm just going to take me a spoon and get some of them out and let some of the drew stay off. And we're just going to put some in here to dry it up. You can get the relish that's already ground it up in a jar, the sweet or the dill. Whatever you want. It's probably if the, some of the juice comes in too. It'll give it good flavor. Okay, now let's grind that up. We need more sweet nickels. Now, don't worry about the mounts. We're, I'm going to put in the description of what I'm using here. And you could adjust it, take it down to make it the size for your family if it's just one or two of you or whatever. It's probably telling me that my medicine's ready. Okay, I'm going to use all the hot pickles that I had in this jar. Do y'all save your pickle juice too? Because you could use it in other like salads and stuff. Chicken. Sorry everyone, I was actually uh, jacking off. Ah, oh, fuck, I forgot my phone. Damn it. Sorry, everyone. That was highly disrespectful. It'll never happen again. Let's see here. The The second time I, I got up, I did shit in the 10 seconds I was gone. First time I jacked off. <clears throat> Haas with the dollar ninety nine said, "I like for everyone to pay attention to the audio." Oh, with the video we just watched, yeah, very good. Jake with the four ninety nine said, "Emailed you an unlisted YouTube video." Devin and Jace are missing out. <clears throat> All right, here we go. It hasn't uh, processed, so I gotta like. God damn it. Why can't it just be a link? Uh, I don't know how fucking Windows works. wonder if this is going to work. Wait, I gotta, I gotta make the volume off. How do I turn the volume off? It's gonna kick me for playing this theme song. Damn it! Oh, here we go. Hell yeah. Windows sucks ass. Yeah, these are the plus size park hoppers. I love these ladies. I love these big toads.
These useless, useless women. God damn these women. How dare you be just as retarded as every other woman I know, but I don't want to fuck you. How how dare you? How how dare you? <clears throat> how dare you be so disrespectful and be the type of lady I don't want to fuck that's also annoying. How dare you? <clears throat> Thanks for sending that to me. Thank you, Jake. Nima with the 999 says, uh, <clears throat> oh, just a link. Oh, shit. I don't know how to copy it on here. Damn it, Nima. R D R T two. Okay, so far so good. Q four three W two W. Cleaning my room as a Roblox streamer. Dude, I thought about this video a few days ago. This guy rules. I don't know First which one I get you want me to watch. First, I started with the but... bed stand. This oh, is where wait, I... Wait, isn't this the one where the guy is filming the maids clean up his streaming room and he makes like $3 million a month? Or is this just... I don't know if this is that exact video. I'm going to... Damn, he's got Pib? Dude's got Pib extra. You forget Pib is still a thing. It's a weird, uh, like, yeah, Berenstein Bears, like, Mandela effect where you thought it's... Because in my head... Pib kind of disappeared right after Fruitopia disappeared, but I guess it's still around. I see it every now and then, but all my water. Unless this guy's soda is from like 2003. For my daily hydration, as you can see, it's cleaned up. Pib's I'm getting the soda. floor clean now. Still got a long way to go. I then grab the vacuum after picking up most every. Hey man, there but for the grace of God go I. If I wasn't married. My room would look exactly like this. Probably worse. Still got some stuff on the side to tidy up. And now my Roblox streams are ready to resume. I love Roblox. I love Roblox. I love Roblox. I woke up with a rat on my bed one time because I would chew a bunch of sunflower seeds as I was falling asleep. And I basically had a mode of sunflower seeds around me. And I woke up and this rat scurried off the bed and shot across the room. It was uh, chewing a bunch of seeds. That was in, uh, I guess, junior year of college. Cleaning my room as a Roblox streamer again. First, I went over what we have. We have a roach infestation. I don't think it's caused by me. I think it's just a really invasive. <laughs> We've got some bowls we have to clean up. Um, found this hot dog, <laughs> July 4th. All right, we clean up this chair, get some of these bowls down. That's a little crust on. Might need to soak it in some hot water first. We have some frappuccinos. Looks like something tried grown in here. Yes, Not on my watch. Not on my watch. Wait, wait, wait. Jake said wrong video, Ben? What do you mean wrong video? I just wa I watched, the, I watched the video you sent me, Jake. What do you mean it's the wrong video? Now we got some snack trays. Got to clean these up. Don't want my dog to eat them. I think he already did. Some of it's missing. Found a little baby roach trying to get away. Jake, you're the guy who sent me the unlisted YouTube video. I just watched it. Oh, here we go. I don't know who the hell that was. Here we go. Let's put my girlfriend to the test okay. to see if she... That's what I imagine all you guys do right as limit parties booting up in the morning.
at like 5 a.m. Waking up your entire neighborhood. Wait, so whose video did I just watch then? Who the hell was this? All right, well, I mean, I just get weird emails like this all the time, so what are you going to do? Wait, so where the hell? Oh, yeah, here we go. Sorry, honey. Didn't mean to leave that down there. Hope you don't mind. All right, well, that's about it. The room's pretty clean now. We've made a lot of good progress, so we're just going to finish up another day. I'm pretty exhausted, so stay tuned. Cleaning my room, part two. I'm a Roblox streamer, and my room gets really messy. Look at that. These no, are all his that's not videos? Very good. Found a free bag of chips, and they're not even expired yet. This is the best day ever. Gotta get these trash bags. This milk, don't don't lean over. It does not smell very good. I don't know why. I poured some coke in it to try to make it smell better. Found my nail clippers, too. Look how bad my nails get when I don't have nail clippers, and I use my fingers. It really hurts. I don't like it very much. Anyway, bringing the dishes down. Got some trash bags. Does this guy, up. does he this live in this house? Really is he a professional streamer and he makes shitloads of money? Please tell me he just like gets like three or four views and he lives with his mom. I don't know what this is. He I think can't it was be coffee breathing all this point, shit in. But now it's like a syrup. It's going to turn coffees. you into venom. Some of them look bad. Some look good. I think it's based on how long they've been there. This looks like syrup too. I don't know how I'm going to get this out of the cup. I might have to throw it away. People have no idea the kind anyway, of mold got the rest of the trash and bags. things they I'm have gonna go living and take in them their out. body. Don't forget to wash your hands after cleaning your room. It's very good for your hygiene. Breathing all this shit Anyway, in. thanks for watching. I shaved my eyebrows. Bye. Cleaning underneath my bed as a Roblox streamer. We had a roach infestation recently, and I found a roach underneath my bed. Gotcha, you little bugger. He laid eggs on me. That's weird. Anyway, my glue trap is nice and filled. Got a spider in it, too. I should have made him a pet. I forgot to do my homework, but luckily I used Pixolve. And yeah, I'd love to cut off this guy's head and put it in a microwave. Problems. It makes it so much easier. Home I yellow spots in my teeth. They said that's because of smoking, but I'm not a smoker, so I don't understand. Anyway, we're all set. I got rubber bands. Looks good. Jesus. Thanks for watching. I just got a trash can for my room. My roach infestation has gotten pretty bad. Someone said it's because I left food out, but they eat plants, so I don't get it. But I got my trash can anyway. And yeah, guys, doom like Thor's hammer. Give him a little. Then, if it's a sad, it's not enough. Boil the water, pour it in, and after three minutes, voila, it's good to go. Isn't that delicious? Then, I like to just put it down. I'll take it down later when I need to. Then, I grab myself a Dr. Pepper Mini. These are really healthy compared to the original size. Grab me some organic batana oil. Put it in my hair and scalp to help my hair growth. Thanks, Dr. Truth. Looks so much better. They tell me to rinse it out, but I'm okay. Then I kill more roaches that are trying to crawl on my feet. People ask if I'm satire. I'm here to give you the answers. But Jesus. God help this man. Actually, God damn this man. God damn him. Wait, who were we watching? Oh, yeah, yeah. I wanted to watch uh, uh, Chad and Chew. Chad and Chew, one of my favorites. Chat and Chew. Chat and Chew. Where the hell is this guy? This guy went and got... God damn. This little virgin went and got himself a trad wife. Look at him. She looks kind of nearby, but she mailed it to me, and she said she has no idea what it is. And she didn't send me a picture or anything. This is this guy's life? A frontier patriot. This guy kicks ass. I love this. This is really cool. My instincts say to just shit on this, but I mean... He got himself a vaguely looking Jewish wife with nice sea cups and a cool ass little cabin. She cooks him badass meals. I'm assuming they have like chickens and goats and stuff. Yeah, God bless him. Probably fucks her raw in the woods on the ground. We haven't done one of these. They probably climb trees like monkeys and scream the N word. No one can hear them. I would say common until 1900. So they were worn for a very long time. At least from... My man right here is killing it. 
this uh, this fresh food, this bitch, he's fucking killing it. I'd like to see uh, maybe some, maybe a boob job, but other than that, he's killing it. You could tell she has a great ass. Just give it to me. Okay, fine. You could tell she has a great ass and anything goes. Mm. Oh, you like it? Yeah, that is really good. See? <laughs> I'm going to subscribe to this guy, too. Mm. I'm being a little generous with subscribing lately, but hey, what the hell? You only live once. Sometimes I come Today, across these people, and then they're just it. lost to the sands of time, and I never know how to find them again, so. But, but damn, this one was good. Oh, no, 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 not this one. Bathroom. Not this one. Um, uh, was it this one right here? Oh, that's <gasps> she did chicken express dude i haven't had chicken e in so long oh i love chicken e and abilene does she get okra the attic yeah she got some okra. i wouldn't suggest watching that movie mm. i hear that lunch And my new microphone came, but I just hadn't gone through my boxes yet. God, she's great. She's really got a great thing going. Guys, am I wrong or is this a different channel and she has two channels? This is not the Chinese food mukbang video from earlier and I don't I think she had more subs than that Chad and Chu Chinese mukbang guys remember this video from earlier in the stream that we were watching yeah oh, Chu and chat see this is a different one here that's not the one we were watching folks what the hell See, it would have a little red bar underneath if it remembered me watching it. So I watched plenty of it. Where the hell is it? Here we go. Whew, I almost had a I almost freaked out for a second. I thought she might have got taken off YouTube and she was posting on some backup channel. <coughs> I know I made a comment, I don't know if it's on here, it was on Facebook, that they should have Sheldon go to college. I know Sheldon's already in college, mm -hmm. but why don't they make him, um, when he goes to college in She's California. She's right. Hey, studio executives, listen up. Execs, listen up. This woman's got a great when idea. He, when he meets Leonard and all them. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I think when he meets Leonard and stuff, he's already, he's already graduated college. It'd be really good. Because little boy, he's grown up so much. I have it where they he goes to college in California. The Orange Bank Theory. My favorite episode, Young Shoulder. Y'all may know what it is. The brisket and voodoo one, whatever. So is that her stomach? Mima. I'm gonna give George the rest. The brisket and voodoo. Y'all may know what it is. The brisket and voodoo Do one. Do you guys like hear that cat like meowing, or is that just her? Food digesting. You know what it is. Yeah, I don't know. The man. brisket and voodoo one, whatever. I think that's her heart swimming. Mimo. I'm gonna give George the recipe for the brisket. Then finally she writes down a fake recipe and he goes over to New Orleans and 
he gets some kind of voodoo root and then <laughs> get some kind of coffee for it. It's one of my favorites. Yep. These people, their favorite, they won't tell you a single thing about what's going on with them emotionally, but they will retell episodes beat for beat of of, of TV shows that they've seen in the past few months. It's re- I've, I've been at dinner with my father before where he's just explaining the entire plot line of some Andy Griffith episode. And you ask him how he's doing, and he goes, what? Huh? Oh, shit. The Hidden Name with 999 has a link here. Uh Oh, it's a short. Ooh. Ooh, it's a short. Now we're talking. Shorts. Okay. ML. Is that an I or an L? Hope it's an L. Says it's not available anymore. Oh, shit, I got to do the question mark thing. Feature. Shared. Dot com slash. Shorts. Sorry, says it's not available anymore. I don't know what happened to it. Uh, hidden name. Uh, maybe if you think it's still out there, then email it to me. It'd be easier than me typing it in like this. The Monster MW with 999 says, Hey, Ben, thank you so much for making the past year halfway more bearable. Thank you, Monster MW. I'm glad you enjoy the show, buddy. Uh, looking forward to a Portland LP show someday. Look up, do you know anyone who has a straight man cancer? It's a short. In China, when a man supports traditional gender he disagrees with gender equality, he The problem is it's so loud, but they don't let you turn it down on the damn, uh... ...said to have. In China, when a man supports traditional gender roles and disagrees with gender equality, he is said to have zhi, nan, ai, straight man cancer. However, in recent years, this term has also been met with counter insults, such as nu quan ai, feminist cancer. In China, when a man supports traditional gender roles yeah, and disagrees with gender equality, Good. he is said to have zhi nan ai, straight man cancer. However, in recent years, this term has also been met with counter insults, such as nu quan ai, Feminist cancer. In China, when a man supports traditional gender in China, good. In China, okay, when a man we get it, we get it. In China, no, stop with the, get a, god damn. What China? Ooh, in China we do that different. In China, god damn it, I gotta get off this shit. In China, okay, in no. Back. Back. <clears throat> I know I made a comment. I don't know if it was on here. It was on Facebook. That they should have Sheldon. Okay, yep, yep, sent 499, so it's not technically a video watch. I would just type it in, but uh, he sent an exact link. And for I'm sorry, buddy, you got to send 10 if I'm going to type in that whole thing. It's going to take me 10 minutes to type in. Go to college. I know. By the way, you guys could just email me, and it's easier for me to pull up. 
Whoopsie, I'm doxing this guy, Tyler, with the five. Sheldon's already in college, but why don't they make him, um, when he goes to college in California? It'd be neat when he meets Leonard and all them. <laughs> well, I think when he meets Leonard and stuff, he's he's already graduated college. It'd be really good... Because little boy, he's grown up so much. I have it where they he goes to college in California. All right, I gotta do it now. Oh wow, yep, yep, said fifteen. Thanks, yep, yep. FB, goddamn you people for not emailing me. YouTube, ah, fucking hell. I gotta do YouTube.be. Ah, fucking hell. The hell? I typed it in. Oh, then there's a whole fucking other thing. God damn it. Uh, shit. S I. Ah, fuck. Why can't you guys just tell me what the title is or something or email me? W. All right, this better be good. Uh, but see, I can't do the... See, why can't I do the YouTube? That's what it is, though. I typed it like that. What the fuck? What the fuck? I typed it in right. God damn it. I got to put a dot .com. I'm such a fucking retard. I should be killed. I should be shot and killed on the spot. Not working. You get it? God damn it. God damn it. Nothing showing up, you motherfucker. Email me. Email me, bitch. Come on. God, it's fucking stressing me out. Pissing me the fuck off. <clears throat> I know I made a comment. I don't know if it's on here. It was on Facebook. Eric Thordkiltson with the Canadian 688 said, get the fatty off screen. We're trying to eat. Uh, no. Fuck off. That they should have. Dumbass. Sheldon go to college. I know Sheldon's already in college. But why don't they make him, um, when he goes to college in California? No cap with the 10 says, I'm sending you an email with a link to a short. My email has the same profile picture as this. Be neat when he meets Leonard and all them. <laughs> well, I think when he meets Leonard and stuff, he's he's already graduated college. I don't know where she's going, really by good. the way, but they're doing the egg rolls right, man. That's how you do the egg roll right there. See that? That's how you do the egg roll. You like the, you make the fried rice. I make the egg to make the egg roll. Because little boy, he's grown up so much. I have it where they he goes to college in California. Uh, Moon is asking me about Nabokov. Much love to you and the Lemon Boys. He is, I believe, 
one of the greatest American writers. He's not Russian. I don't put him in the Russian camp. He moved to America. He fell in love with the English language. I've only read Lolita, but I also have Pale Fire, and Lolita is one of the greatest books I've ever read by far. He's a master, master, master writer, master of English. It's there's uh, there's no one like that guy. He's he's so superior. He's so so high up there. It's it, it's m- most. 99.9% of writers don't even come close to what that dude was capable of doing. And I also love the subject matter. Unfortunately, rich people kind of ruin Lolita by being into it in this fake, avant-garde, edgy way, but uh, don't let that don't let that uh, muddy the waters when it comes to him because he's he's truly one of the greatest writers ever. I will. I'm warning you though, Lolita's. It's pretty hard to stomach, and it's a testament to how good that dude is that you can make it through that whole book. I don't cringe at anything, and nothing really upsets me except. Most things I watch on the internet. But, uh, yeah, that's... God, it's so good. My favorite episode. Young Shoulder. Y'all may know what it is. The brisket and voodoo one more. <laughs> I said, I think we're gonna take... Oh, eat the damn egg roll, bitch. You're on home. I hope she smokes them like cigars. That's what I want to see. has to do with um, your body and stuff, too. And um, <clears throat> I don't know where these doctors learn to go to medical school. Where they go Come to on, man. If, dude, so here's the thing. Dude, dude, dude. <sighs> okay, hold on. Let me... I'm going to take this off the screen. And then I'm going to click to make sure, because if you get my ass... Taken off of YouTube. Oh, I got to request access, dude. You're not even... You sent me a, a link I, I got to request access to? What a dumb retard. Boy, you stupid. Boy, you are a dumb retard. You're a dumb, dumb retard. Everybody point and laugh at this man. Boo this man. <laughs> Boom this big retard. Your teeth and stuff affects your health and stuff. And also, I said if I was a dentist, I'd be very poor. I'd be a probably a homeless poor dentist because I'd be. I'd bad. do it for free so I could eat all the food out of everybody's teeth. It's just ridiculous. <laughs> I don't know. That is just. <clears throat> eat the egg roll. To... Oh, come on. Scrolls, boys, boys, what what is that on a Patreon I tier? I'll subscribe. There's no discriminating in Barbie Land. <laughs> you know I love Barbie Land. So, all right. I will see you on the next video. Make sure to subscribe, like, comment, share, click the bell notification. Make sure it's all black. I love that all these people are incapable of saying the word subscribe. I don't know what's so hard about it. It's two syllables. It's pretty damn easy. It's a uh and an I. Uh, I. Uh, ah, subscribe. S- some of them say subscribe. Some just say subscribe. I will see you on the next video. Make sure to subscribe, like, comment. Yeah, she says subscribe. I almost got mad because I thought it said Lemon Party is one of the least funny shows on the internet. I was like, thanks, asshole. Go kill yourself. This is from Weston Franklin. Said, will you watch this short for my channel? I appreciate your input a lot. Lemon Party is one of the last funny shows on the internet, and I one day aspire to make skits as good as you guys. For now, I'm just trying to do these gay shorts. The channel is Bunky Boys, and the short is the one with the thumbnail of the sun from, from one retard to another. He's dead. 
God bless the Bunky Boys. Go give the Bunky Boys a follow. The moon in front of the sun! <laughs> the rock right in front of the star! <laughs> it's gonna blot out the sun! It's gonna be like nighttime! It's gonna be like Spartan 300! All the arrows blocking out the sun! That's it's gonna be crazy. You're gonna think you're in nighttime. It literally got eight percent darker. Is that the moon in front of the? <laughs> That's pretty fucking funny, dude. That actually, that thing makes me laugh on the internet. That actually made me laugh. Good work, dude. <laughs> is this your? Is this your podcast? What is this? Allah Hell yeah, buddy. Love the cut of your jib. It's so, one, gross to have an animal in your house, and two... Gotta say, love the setup, love the lighting, love what you're doing with this. Keep up this good work. This rules. Uh, I'm giving you guys a lot of love and support here. Knowing nothing about you, I really hope you're not, uh, you know, going on to uh, deny the Holocaust midway through the episode. But I want everyone to know I know nothing about these two gentlemen. I don't know if they're going to appear on the news in a week. So I just want to, that's a disclaimer. I, this seems like it's funny and good. Such a burden on you financially and emotionally for no reason. And three, it makes you look gay. <laughs> I'm starting to I feel I I kind of get your drift, bro. And also Yeah, these guys are fun. Hell yeah. Yeah, shout out to uh Bunky Boys. Okay, let's see here. Now let's get back to uh Is that the moon in front of the sun? <laughs> so funny. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> that really got me. Let's see if this works. Yeah. Yeah, dude, you still haven't given me access to watch this JOI video from Bunny. You piece of shit. You're going to edge me like that, bitch? Comment, share, click the bell notification, make sure it's all black, and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>
I got to figure out what to do. We Maybe we have to pre-record some because, shit, I just don't know whether I want to record the live podcast or not and, and put them out on Patreon or or what. Because I feel like if I just record them all, then people won't want to come see them live because we're going to, I'm going to hire a guy to shoot them and cut them up and put them out. I don't really know. I haven't decided yet. Because the last thing I want to do is travel across the country to do these live shows and no one shows up, which, thank God, right now, people are buying tickets. But, I mean, I understand it's not stand-up. People aren't as thrilled, I guess, to go out. and. But I promise you it's better than a stand-up show. It's me, Devin, and Jace on stage in real time, improvising the full you know, hour, 15, hour and a half, just as we do the podcast. Uh, it's it, It'll feel like three guys doing stand-up in sync telling stories, riffing, talking to the audience. It's really fun. I don't know how we're going to do two of these in one night, by the way, because Devin usually just gets ripped while we're doing them. We'll see, because we got to do two in New York. Uh, Cody McGrew said, Hey, Ben, have you read Perfume by Patrick Suskind? It inspired Kurt Cobain to write the song Scentless Apprentice. Uh, no, I have not read that book. I have not heard of that book. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I haven't read it. I've kind of admitted that I am just sort of a gay guy who loves rereading things I really like. I'm rereading Moby Dick right now. I just reread No Country for Men for like the fourth time. Um, I just reread Portrait of the Artist as a Young Man by James Joyce. I just read Dubliners for the first time by James Joyce, too. Great collection of short stories. And uh, I'm also right now I'm uh, uh, there's this uh, autobiography or there's this, I'm sorry, this it's not an autobiography. It's a biography with but Samuel Beckett gave him his blessing. It's called Damned to Fame. If you're a big Samuel Beckett fan, as I am, uh, you should read Damned to Fame. It's really good. I'm I'm ripping right through it. It's so good. This guy, I love Beckett. I didn't know he wanted to fuck his cousin. He was in love with his cousin for three years, and his family's like, what the hell are you doing? And then he goes and works for James Joyce and tries to fuck his uh, his crazy-ass uh, daughter who had schizophrenia. Crazy shit. The Irish are great. I, I love the damn, like, Ireland Irish. They're great. They just wander around and <clears throat> drink poison. Uh, let me see who else I missed here. Did I miss anybody? Oh, no, I don't think I did. Okay, good. Our film of you. <laughs> From other channel. <sighs> the rich wife. Damn, she's mm. got a couple other bowls lined up, boys. And I want to say this too, low key. If if you if you do a lot of Chinese takeout or Chinese dinners, I think this is a Texas broad, so she knows she knows more than anyone. The best soda with Chinese takeout is Dr Pepper. I don't know why that is. Preferably Dr Pepper from a soda fountain that has about 10 to 15% more sugar than usual because the the mix is is all fucked up. And by the way, shout out that uh, diet uh Dr Pepper has like a Dr Pepper Zero. They have it at Bucky's. When every time I go back to Texas, I go to Bucky's to get it. Oh god, it blows Coke Zero out of the water and I'm a huge Coke Zero fan. You got to try the Dr Pepper Zero. It's un it's unbelievable unbelievable what dr pepper is doing with that new beverage god damn i wish i could buy stock in it it's so good two to a call yep yep with the 499 says have you found my email yet about finding 2020 w quarters no i have no email from you retard oh uh Weston Franklin said, thank you for your compliments on the channel and the short. You are an inspiration. All racist podcasts across the globe, onward and upward. Thank you, buddy. That's very nice of you. Anytime, my friend. 
Uh, very rarely do I click on something someone sent to me that is actually good that they made themselves. Uh, and I, and look, I only listened to like five seconds of the podcast, but I thought it was funny. Hey, I could watch, you know, 14 hours of other people's podcasts and not laugh for a second. So what does that tell you? Everybody says I'm a fucking hater, but if something's funny, I do laugh. I do give it up. I'm not a hater. Funny's funny. And if it ain't funny, I'm going to shit on it. I wipe my ass with it. Yeah, hey, yep, yep. I don't have an email. Could you forward it to me or some shit? Crisps. Crisp ups. Crisp ups, I think. The tacos. They were delicious. Is she doing it with a uh, a bowl? Uh, yeah. This is another pro move. She's eating Chinese food with a spoon. Not only is she culturally rejecting the chopsticks, she's not even going for the fork. She's going for the spoon so she can get the right ratio of rice with every bite. It's, it's the way to do it. Preferably do it with a serving spoon. That's the way I do it. I don't go for a small cereal spoon. It would have been going out in a few weeks. Well, I was like, I gotta get that out. People need to go out and get those because they are absolutely fantastic. <sighs> yep, drinking the soup out of the cup. Use the soup Susan spoon for the food and, and then me. just pour the soup right in your mouth. <clears throat> Please, and the icing on the cake is if she took that sweet and sour sauce, like a jello shot. That's what I want to see right now. Well, sometimes it's too spicy. You can't drink it like that. It's the perfect spice. And it's so sad in the background. She has a uh, she has a box of toys for her grandchild she never had. So sad. Perfect channel. <clears throat> and I wanted to Great name, very simple. Go down and Jake with the four ninety nine says, Will and Dom, please. It's some stuff it, on buddy. my chest. Say no more, King. Man, it it's crazy how much content they put out. Oh, we already watched them watch the eclipse. I forgot about that. Let's see here. Okay, I'll watch them go around and give Hi, shop. everybody. Today we're Are... here in Pigeon Fork at the Country Barn gift shop. And we're going to take some selfies. Don, are you ready? Damn, did she fall down a flight of stairs? And give me the 1080. There we go. Ready? I'm ready, Will. Let's, Let's do this. <laughs> Holy shit, he gave her a talking to right before this. Today we're here in Pigeon Forge at the Country Barn gift shop and we're going to take some selfies. Don, are you ready? I am ready, Will. Let's, Let, do, let's do this. Jesus. Man, that's tragic. That's tragic. And this place is awesome. I couldn't imagine being Don, ma'am. $19. And the focal point for today is the photo park. She lives in fear. She walks on eggshells in every room in her home. For this, they even have a little Elvis <laughs> get up here. I think. A big guy over there with a hand. I don't know. Something like that. We got some crazy monkeys and everything. Just check this place out. It's, it's crazy. And here it is. They're really just running out of stuff to look at in Pigeon Forge. I mean, look at this. It looks like a lot of fun. They have different backdrops. You can even. They're reviewing play gr playgrounds for children now. For your kid to roll around in a bunch of chopped wood. 
can ride a. Does that look fun? A bear. Does that look fun to bear. a four-year-old? Does that look uh, fun There's at all? my angel right there. Hey, everybody. Hey. Put your thumbs up. That, that was uh, Fonz. Yeah, uh, he, the Fonz. Elvis didn't go, hey. He went, I'm all sugar. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, hey. the Fonz. Elvis didn't go, hey. He went, I'm all sugar. Oh, oh. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. Help. By the way, look, it, it's Elvis as a young man, and Elvis when he died on the toilet. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. Really, uh, um, God, Will is my white whale. Alex Buchwald with the tent says, please look up Royce Miller 4388. Good morning, everyone. This is Royce Miller. Come back at this you with really another good. fast food fave. And I'll be honest, I do feel bad. I haven't been doing, or you know, I've been. I'm on Lipitor. <laughs> my doctor has filed a restraining order against me. And my health insurance agency right now is trying to hunt me down because I'm losing them a lot of money. Uh, they sent like a Michael Clayton type guy to kill me. <laughs> Oh, damn, that looks good. What did he get? Oh, turn this off for a bit. Thing where you basically just pay for it by the pound. They charge about nine fifty per pound when you include seafood. I paid $24 for this. I believe it was twenty three sixty one tofu. Nice, so about so, two yeah. and a half pounds of food. Today on the docket we have ba -da -ba -ba, an all-you-can-eat buffet in a box. Out of the box, dip, dip, out of the box. Any millennials remember Playhouse Disney back in that era? Oh, Lord. Okay, so what is in here? I think a better question is what isn't in here. Uh, we have rice noodles, uh, uh, lo mein, uh, chicken, sushi, spicy squid. Here, let's just get a little squid. Mmm. He just piles it all on. Chews like a rubber band, tastes like seafood. But so what's gonna? Ha how are we gonna do this? Well, we're just gonna keep eating until either this box is empty or I'm <laughs> about to burst. <laughs> and that's the motto I live by, my friends. Then again, it is actually gross. Mine. My... Dude. I'm, like, you're not harassing me. You're harassing yeah. other people. I got to subscribe to this guy, too. This is gold. Mmm. That's black pepper chicken. It is amazing. Oop, yeah. well, I should not have worn black today. Um. God, that is really good shit. Speaking of chicken, the other chicken we have is scallion chicken. Mm. I do have a critique. I wish he was showing me the food the whole time and not kind of having it out of frame. But I understand he's also a great big fat man and he's working with what he's got. I will say this, you know, he cuts right to the point. He just never stops eating. And he gives a little disclaimer up top that he's going to eat until he explodes. <laughs> I do worry that people are going to try to make me, like, the object of their ridicule, like some kind of, like, uh, Sonichu thing. Like. This is the, uh, this is the, this is the cheese stuffed crust, crust version of Stavros Alkaius, basically. I don't know the whole story about that, but. At one point, that person was being, like, harassed by the entire internet or something like that, and 
allegedly that's what drove them insane and for made them do the things that they did, which I don't know if I necessarily believe that, but still, the, the internet is extremely cruel for little to no reason. Love this guy, too. He's caught up in meaningless internet rumors about people that, if there was a god, would be riddled with cancer tomorrow, would be dead, would never be born, would fall straight into the pits of hell. Sorry, this is just going to become a sushi eating stream for a bit. I'll save I'll save the last deep fried one for last. Here's another salmon roll with uh, caviar on top. Damn, I wish it were me so bad. Last but not least, the other Jim Pearl. Oh. God, I wish it were me. You think it's rather sh- that much since the four K special? He talks about eating like he's been in a a, a seven-year-long war. (laughs) Haven't ate that much since the the Battle of 43. I hope you all enjoyed this. Um, And remember... Okay, so I'm just so you know... The the five K special is coming. I'm waiting to get some home movies from my dad to review, so I can get a better picture of what's all there. God bless. Tarek Merman with the ten says, "Look up extreme larding." Oh yeah, yeah, we watched this guy. Great video. Oh, that's kind of, tastes kind of bitter. Ooh. Mm. It's a guy who eats very delicious oil. I still don't know why he did it. I really like lard a lot. So with that, I have one more bite. This guy thinks he's going to lose weight by eating lard. Uh, just to prove how... S- oh. Mmm. Ooh. Mmm. I think I've had enough. I'll report back in, a, in about three days. Okay. It's been three days. <laughs> I, uh, I don't think you should eat lard that's not been refrigerated. That's, that's the first one. Second of all, I don't feel any healthier. Uh, I, you know, I believe what I read sometimes on the internet, but in this particular case, I'm gonna tell you that I think it does need refrigeration. I'm gonna go ahead and not use any more of this. Uh, cans are almost empty anyway. Uh, it, the second day... It doesn't really seem like a joke. I think this guy posted this earnestly. This looks like maybe filmed in 2007. Not so good. The third day, whoa. So, Anybody else uh, after a good over- nap today and a strong here. decision, I've decided that uh, I'm going to go ahead and take the medicine the doctor prescribed and uh and i'm not going to eat this lard uh although i think it's a i think it had i think it probably was okay whoo it doesn't say of course a lot of rust on the can from the basement i don't know how old so yeah we watched that a couple weeks ago though it kicks ass jake with 499 says ben have you seen jeff town please watch jeff town documentary 
Yeah, someone had me look this up, uh, I don't know, maybe six months ago, I think. Oh, shit. Isn't this about a town of people that are retarded or something? Oh, yeah, so Nick talked about this on Come Town. Uh... daughter went along with me to the hospital. I think we watched this like he six said, months I ago. I take a chance on him, mother. And the actual parents, what is their story? They, uh... My father and grandmother were first cousins. I'm working with the publishing company, and that's what I'm trying to tell you. That's oh, where the publisher's it. clearinghouse. Huh? The publisher's clearinghouse. Yes. Four years I've been with them. Didn't you see what I? You know how you get this? Lab, we're in the lab, ten and eleven million dollar category. This, we are the leading ones, Jeff and I. You don't like it at all? No. Yeah, it's a documentary about a retarded guy or something. He's a porn consuming wrestling fanatic, who drinks beer, he lies, cheats, steals, fondles women, in short, he's a lot more like the rest of us than we care to admit. Jeff's days are divided between his filthy home that he shares with his 98 year old wheelchair bound foster mother uh, and a mall movie theater where the employees alternately mock and care for him. They become a bizarre surrogate family for Jeff. Yeah, it's a beautiful thing. But he's a good Christian boy with a heart of gold. He kicks ass. Holy shit. Parallel Particle with the 50. He just says, come. Thank you, Parallel Particle. Also very funny to do the 50 and then just say, come. Thank you, my friend. That means a lot to me. That's huge. That's huge. That's diapers for my baby. Thank you, my friend. Linda Amona with the dollar ninety nine said Don fell down a well as a child. Don's hometown, nineteen ten. I know. I watched this on the live stream like four months ago. I'll play it again though. It's a. If you don't know about there. it, it's a great little. Uh, and then the well. There's there's so much lore with Will and Don. Turn to it. Ten. So this is where we grew up at, and where all the bricks and piles at is that's where I fell in at. So that's so she fell in this well and almost died. That's the, my head open. That's the famous well that you yes. fell down. And how long were you in the well for? My grandpa seen me doing. He got me right out, and the ambulance was coming through, blasting through in the driveway with the siren lights on. And it makes sense it that she's so had a he severe head out. injury. And my grandparents live right next door to us. And you, you spent some time in the hospital, didn't you? Yeah. I was in the hospital for almost a good nine months. Yeah, nine months. Nine she months. almost died. So you could tell. So there there was an old... Yep, she almost died. All right, P. Yep, yep, with the 999 says, Look up, found a 2020 with quarter silver Wolverine. It's a really cool thing to get obsessive and autistic about. Found a 2020 W quarter silver Wolverine. I got to get a thing to hold my mic because it's hard to type and talk. Oh, fuck. Uh, found a 2020 W quarter. A 2020 W 
quarter silver Wolverine. Is this going to... I don't know what the video is going to be, though. I guess I'm going to click on this one. Hey, what's up, everybody? Hope is still alive to find these 2020 or 2019, for that matter, West Point quarters. I just came back from the bank and I picked up these 10 rolls, $100 face value of quarters looking for these West Point quarters. Didn't find any silver, but I did find this 2020 V75 Privy Mark West Point quarter. This one here is a Marsh Billings. Now, it is a circulated quarter. It's not uncirculated, so it's probably not worth sending out. Now, what am I graded. looking at here? However, I'm looking at a video of a guy a who likes quarters. Marsh Billings Rockefeller West Point quarter. And this is one of the hottest ones right now because these have a very low population for a high grade in a mid state condition. However, I'm not going to be sending this one out for grading because this one, well, it would probably be a waste of money to do so because it is a circulated it's, quarter. Because it's worth I a quarter. I can already tell just by looking through the because camera. Because it's worth here one that quarter. It's not going to be worth sending out for grading, but I will put it into a two by two cardboard flip and just keep. For the collection, it is a about a $20 coin, even in a circulated condition. Could fetch about 20 bucks on eBay. However, this is not going to be. Was that the one you wanted me to watch, buddy? I, I really have no idea. I'm not going to lie. I don't understand this at all. I've never understood coin people. I mean, you might as well just collect stones in your front yard. I don't know what the point is. I'd rather collect dog shit in my backyard. How many videos does this, this poor fucker have? 2,200 videos. Goddamn him. I hope that was the video, yep, yep, because I'm not really sure. AR with the 999 says, watch guy on a buffalo. <laughs> Hold on. 16 million views. Okay, I hope I don't get kicked off. Let me see if there's a song in it. No, okay. <laughs> That's One pretty day badass. The guy on the buffalo was cruising around through the plains, seen a bear. And he thought to himself, oh man, I gotta get away from the bear. Hope he don't chase. Oh no, he's gonna chase me. Oh no, I bet. Okay, that's a lot of views, so I'm gonna have to kind of stop and then start. I don't want to get the stream kicked. Around and chase him back. Guess what? I'm on a buffalo. Really riding a buffalo. Is that for real? Don't want to listen to more of this and get kicked off. Bad, bad part of the buffalo. Bad part of the buffalo right there. Javen Turner with the eight says Seaside Mark just don't watch 26-324 Riff Raz.
26. And he's some some retard who does his dates backwards. There's a channel up on YouTube, and it's called Riff Rats. A double smell. Yeah, but like a fucking skunk going around the place. So I need to wash, I need to do what's best for me. What supports my needs. I haven't got a, I haven't got a very good quality of life at the moment. Very good, sir. So I am washing my arse. With soap and water. Very good, sir. Very, very good. Very good soap. You know the drill. I'm going to show how it's done. Very good, sir. Sink off, all full of water. Pull your pants down. All right. Climb on the sink. You get the soap. He's watching his big ass in the sink. So he's washing shit out of his ass into the sink. <laughs> Sorry, baby's crying. I hate this. I fucking hate this. Make sure my wife's okay. Yeah, she's not texting me, so I think everything's good. God bless. I'm doing this, you know, honestly. It's embarrassing. Man, that scene well, always it, gets me in Team America. TMAU. I've got hidden disability. That might be one of the funniest things I've ever seen. Kind of thing, but I've got to do it to try and keep myself thin. I've got to do what's best. Give me also a good wipe. Yep, fuck that guy. Hope he dies. Next, food connoisseur with the Canadian 13 says, look up refrigerator clean out weird food combinations by Big Country. Buddy, you think I haven't seen it? What the hell? Uh, yeah, see, I already watched some of it. Uh, home cooking, uh, we have... Because, see, look how pissed off he gets at the beginning. What's going on on YouTube? Be good to come next to one more again. As always, I have my lovely wife. Not sister, wife. Lord have mercy. I don't know how many times we got to say it. Um, we have some good eating. Did some uh, home cooking. Uh, we have... And I wonder what they edited out there. She was, like, laughing. She thought it was... She's hiding her smug little smile. I don't know how many times we got to say it. Um, we have it's disgusting. This eating. meal's disgusting. Did some uh, home cooking. Uh, we have... And I think they have a parakeet I don't in the background. I the name of it, but... Uh, I'll show a picture. She'll, she'll put a picture. Uh, some macaroni. Some Tyson's chicken. She'll put a picture. He's so far, he's been wrong about um, everything, by the way. Again, he's... Oh, wait, no, the honey Hormel butter chili, he's right about. Chorizo and bacon bits. Yeah, it's so funny to be like, I love the honey, the nat, the artificially flavored honey butter Pillsbury Crescents. You can't just get Crescents and then put a honey and butter on them. You want the chemical taste. Hormel chili. These guys, won't, these guys won't see 45. I know you're thinking they're in their mid forties, right? These pro people are probably in their mid to late thirties. No shit. So, and bacon bits that I cut up off my bacon and cook. And I have she don't have one, but I got me a um a Angus. Is it number one? Five years ago, these people were paradised by the dashboard lights, making out in their uh in their dad's Camaro.
in high school. Now look at him. Is it? Yeah, I think so. I think it's a member of Mark. Uh, Angus Cheeseburger. And I got a little bit of black eyed peas. Looks like there like may be a little trouble in paradise peas. over Under at the Big Country YouTube channel. Uh, we kind of like cleaned out the top of our freezer, look like. <laughs> but he'll be all right. But I'm the starter show pretty much. I don't, yep. Is that macaroni there? Uh, I wouldn't feed this to a pit bull. Look at this shit. Very good Look at that. macaroni. It's got bacon in it. I'm going to try that macaroni. It, it ain't got the regular elbow. It's got the Look curly. Like a, see that? It's got a nice. It got a nice crisp. It don't always come out that easily. Bit bulging. Cheers. Yeah. Bo oh. Boring appetite. Creamy. Mm. Good macaroni. Yeah. And we done had it before. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And it's. Very Very much. <laughs> he's taking. I think Jason said this before, but he's taking craft slices out of his wallet as if they're dollar bills. Like that. And, and, hey, I throw some macaroni so, on there, too. Yeah, they're just hamburger. making tacos with whatever they find yeah, well, on the I'm floor. I'm putting macaroni on my hamburger. Honey, go scrape some bullshit up off the floor and put it on a tortilla or salsa. Roman England with the five says started reading Blood Meridian just got to the port where the judge is introduced and they buy him a drink. Grim, but real pr great prose. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, and I read that not knowing who the judge even was, so th that was all really fun for me when it came back around. Mr. Bussy with the 999 says, Ben, if you haven't seen The Northman, I highly recommend watch Village Raid Scene. So well choreographed and intense. Oh yeah, you know what? I I I might watch that. Maybe I'll watch that tonight. I haven't seen a, a movie in a long time. I really want to go see Civil War, but uh, I can't really get out of the house tonight. I was gonna work on another script. I just finished a, another script that uh, I think we're gonna shoot the sketch. Uh, maybe this, hoping we can shoot it like this weekend or something. And then there was another sketch idea that me and Devin were texting each other. I wanna I I wanna get that down on paper and write that. So I might just do that tonight instead. Productive ass day and a great stream. Uh, thank you guys. Thank you guys for everything. Uh, you guys make these really fun for me. They're, I have a hell of a lot of fun doing these. And as long as you guys keep tuning in, I'll keep doing these live streams if you guys like them. Uh, I think I could do one Friday too. Yeah, I think I can do one Friday. I'll see you guys Friday as well. Friday at... Uh, I always say four, but I guess a five kind of makes more sense. I'll see you guys. I'll see you guys Friday at five. God bless you. And uh, see you guys in a few days. Take care, everybody.